Hi, welcome to Pop Paul's Workshop. In the last video, using the Fox Alien 4040XE, I used the offline controller to be able to control the machine and complete a project. Very successful. There was no problems at all. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how easy it is to take the thumb drive that comes with the machine, load the drivers, select the COM port, and be able to move the machine and operate it using the computer. Now I prefer using the universal G-code sender because that's what I know already, but the Candle software works very similar. It is a sender that will take your files and be able to control the machine and carve it. And today I'm going to show you the UGS, universal G-code sender. So let's get started. This video is made possible by my Patreon, and I also want to give a special thank you to the folks at Fox Alien. And I would appreciate if you take time to subscribe today. The first thing we're going to do is take the controller, look at the side of it, and we're going to move this switch from the controller setting to the PC setting. Once this is done, then we'll take the USB cable, plug that into the computer, and turn on this machine. Okay, I'm just going to hit the on and off button. We'll get this machine powered up and we're ready for the next step. Next, I'll take the thumb drive or the USB drive that came with the machine and go ahead and put that into the computer. And when I do that, the computer is going to acknowledge that it has a new drive and it's going to show up right down here at the bottom. Now the USB drive shows up right here and all I need to do is just double click on my Fox Alien 4040XE and it's going to bring up this file right here and I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And then I will need to select either the Windows or the Macs, whichever one that you have. In my case, it's to Windows. Now you have three different files to choose from, software, test code, and the user manual. I need the software, so I just click on this, and this is where you'll see the uh, candle software, and you'll see the drivers. I need the drivers, so I'm gonna click on that, and we will open up this file. Here you will see, you get the CH340 SER. Let's click on that, and when you click on that, this will open up, but it's also a compressed file. So this needs to be opened up. So I just extract all, select it, and just follow the instructions. And this will take just a moment to be able to open up. Now this is a step that was not required on the Fox Alien 3018. When I clicked on the file, it opened immediately. Now we're literally back to where we started. I need to click on this one. That's the file that we just opened up. Select the windows, select the software, select the driver, and we're back right where we were with that same file. But this time it's going to go ahead and open. Click yes on this. That is what we want to be able to do. When it shows up with this window, just click install. This process takes just a matter of moments and you can see driver install success. Click OK and then you'll be able to close out these various windows. Now, since I've closed these out, the next thing I want to do is open up the, the device manager, look down under ports, and I will see the USB serial port right there. Click on that. It says COM5, but again, it says COM5 right here as well. So that is what I need to put into the UGS file. And that's what is going to allow the computer to be able to communicate with the software. I'm going to come down to my universal G-code sender, and I'm going to open that. And then over here, I've selected the COM5. I have the bond rate at the 115-200, and it is on the gerbil, so I'm going to click on open. Now I'm going to get the alarm code. So I'm going to go over here to the machine controls and hit my little uh, dollar sign with the X, and now I get the OK. So that means now I should be able to move the machine. I have the controls over here. 
and I can move this left and right, backwards and forwards. And if I scroll over here, I can show you And that works exactly the way that it should. So that's just how easy it is to be able to do the driver install and be able to get the computer working with the CNC machine. And again, using this with the Fox Alien 3018, it's exactly the same process. Now what happens if you hit the limit switch when you raise it up. I'm gonna go ahead and raise this up and hit the limit switch. And there it is, it stopped. So all you need to do in the universal G-code sender is come right over here and select close and then open. We're gonna un uh, set the alarm and then we're going to come right over here and select and hit down. If it doesn't go down far enough, just like with the controller on the machine itself, we do the same thing. We close it, we open it, we set the, uh, take the alarm off. And then we come back over here and move it down again. And now now we can move the machine again. It's just that easy. I know people get real upset when the machine stops and they don't understand why. This is one of the biggest reasons. It just simply hits the limit switch. Now the Fox Alien 3018 SE works just fine with the offline controller. Now I know this is an extra cost that you can purchase. So many of you are going to want to use the computer. Now they have provided to you a thumb drive to be able to load into the computer. And it's extremely easy just to follow step by step on being able to load in the drivers. So all you need to do is just plug in the thumb drive and then follow the instructions. It will lead you step by step through the process. After you load in the thumb drive, click on the Fox Alien 3018 SE and then select Windows or Mac. In my case, I select the Windows and then you have a variety of information that you can get. Just click on Software. When you click on Software, you're going to get this and just follow the step-by-step -step instructions. It's going to lead you right through it. When it asks you to do the install, just click on Install. By looking up the device, I know that this is on COM5. So now I've clicked on that. I want to be able to unlock this so it's now OK. Now I should be able to move the machine. So move the controls here. And this is going to be down to, let's just switch this to millimeters. And let's switch this to 10 millimeters. And let's see if this will move now. And if we look over here on the machine, the machine moves just fine. Now this is used in the UGS, Universal G-Code Sender. So that is working perfectly. Setting up the computer to be able to operate either the Fox Alien 4040 XE or the Fox Alien 3018 SE is very, very easy and the steps are exactly the same to be able to do that. Now again, I chose to use the Universal uh, G-Code Sender or UGS. If you want to be able to use the Candle software, just go ahead and click that next file and load the Candle software into your computer and you'll be able to use that. My preference, as I said earlier, is to be able to use the UGS. And it's mainly because I know it already and I don't have to learn a new software. And I can use that software to be able to control all three of the machines that I have with it. 
because I'm using it for both of my Fox Alien and the other machine that I have that's in the background. And it works great with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video today and being able to see exactly how easy it is to be able to set up the drivers and be able to set up the machine to operate with the computer. And keep in mind, you can still operate it with the offline controllers if you should choose to. I think I'm gonna be doing that quite a bit. So please go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and the little bell notification down there next to it so you won't miss out on any of the videos that I'm uploading. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next videos that I'm doing. I absolutely love this. Using the universal G-code sender, this makes it where these machines work and operate exactly like my other CNC, so there's no additional learning curve. The machine moves just fine. Now this is using the UGS, Universal G-Code Sender. So that is working perfectly. See you next time. We're going to be carving out some projects.